Welcome to the Mayfield Renewables course on UL3741. In this course, we're going to focus in on the product compliance and the design requirements to design and install PV systems that can utilize this new standard. And so the standard's all around uh, reducing shock hazards for firefighters. And so there's a lot of test methodology that goes into that. So that's gonna be really our focus on this class. And the idea here is to get you comfortable with what what the requirements in 3741 are and how to apply it in the real world so that your systems, uh, you can use those. What it comes down to is our racking system becomes part of the array. So if you are doing a low slope roof where most of these UL 3741 um, systems are going to take place, at least in the very immediate future, then the racking system becomes part of that array. In the overall analysis, a hazard level of one is gonna have a different uh, meaning than zero. Of course, then two goes on higher um, hazard level. Number three there is you know greater than one. So basically over 100 milliamps, everything's um, going to be hazard level three. And so this is you know a, a uh, significant risk for the firefighters. This figure is it, that it's examples of equipment that may provide hazard reduction for it within the PV ray. Not saying you have to have these. It's not saying that any one of these is an absolute requirement. What it's saying is that this is equipment that could meet the requirements. It could meet it on its own. It could meet it in conjunction with other components. That's the whole point of the test is identify all the components, put them together, actually test it together, see how they interact, and does it do the job that it was uh, intended to do. We are starting to see our module level power electronics that are allowing multiple modules in series as long as you stay under that, you know, per the per the standard, it's 165 volts. Per but you have to look at the model. Excuse me, the MLPE manufacturer's requirements. Some are going to be less. They might be 125 volts or something like that. But nonetheless, if it's less than that value, then the shock hazard is minimal. And so that's you know a way to meet 3741. That inverter had it been turned 180 degrees so that those DC input conductors were facing the array and it were moved such that those DC conductors were inside the array boundary, provided that if this racking system does indeed carry its 3741 listing, all of those other conductors were properly protected, that could be a, a way of being 3741 compliant. Because of the inverter's location being outside the array boundary, those conductors, obviously those DC conductors going into the inverter uh, are you know completely exposed. Firefighter walks up, trips over that conduit. That's very much that, that's what we're trying to avoid by all means. So um, so yeah, so some relatively easy fixes in the design and the layout, and we could have that you know meeting that better.